in a little bit of trouble here at the par five third. He is indeed, Graham. He's got no lie over this green and no green to work with. Oh! Wow. Let's have another look at this uh, shot from Keimer. Stri nearly tried to jump out, didn't it? What a shot there. Four. Well, this was Fuzzy Zeller, 173 yards, 16th hole. He wasn't making a whole lot happen on this day at even par. Well, no it doesn't look real good either. Back left, it's hung up in the rough. That's, mm. you know, no good there. Is it tough chip, I think? Oh, wait a minute. There it goes. You're not going to move. You're not going to move. Oh, some chance no. out here. No. You got to be. Oh, please. Said that may be the loudest roar you have ever oh, heard out here on the Champions Tour. That is the loudest roar I've ever heard. And this is at the drivable par 4 16. It's pretty dangerous. I mean, you've got the creek kind of right you have there. You're kidding me. Oh, it went. Oh, oh off. No. The, it <laughs> didn't. Off the bridge. Is it going to go in? What? Oh, For a tap in eagle? Off the bridge. <laughs> well, you take that. Back at 14, and Corey Pavin in a world of hurt. He certainly is. This ball is inside the hazard, up against the tree root, and the ball sits in a depression just outside that tree root. And from a right-handed position, he cannot get to it. I, I got to tell you, this is this is the tournament here for him if he can't, doesn't pull this off. to be kidding oh, me. This is unbelievable. This, this wow. might go down oh, as one my. of the best shots I have <laughs> ever seen. I cannot believe that. <laughs> Had a great year putting the ball this past, I should say this past season. Yeah. He just has such a, he, his hands are really light on the putter grip and then there's just that little bit of release through there. It's just as we go to number two and see if Ricky Fowler puts that aggressive putt on it. Needs to up that hill. Yeah! Hey, what? He's birdie birdie. Ricky Fowler now hitting his third on the par five. Played up to 156 yards. Fowler coming up a solo second at Mayakoba on the PGA Tour. And wow, Ricky Fowler off to a great start. Yeah. And Ricky Fowler is coming out for his fourth straight. That would be a yes. <laughs> Best sand player on tour last year. Oh. <laughs> okay. How about that? Man, oh man, look at that scorecard. And oh, come on. Oh. How about that? Kurt, this is getting ridiculous. Live look at Ricky Fowler for birdie and the outright lead. No, it moves to the right. And he got seven in a row. Gary, the record is nine. <laughs> yeah. How about that nine? He was a mention at the beginning of the day, but not one that you would focus on. And a 61, a new course record, a new tournament record, and Ricky Fowler finishes up at 18 under par. Christopher Myers trails by one in the Pro Junior competition, playing the 18th, and this is his second to the par five. So a birdie to tie the lead. Well, look at this shot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, about a double eagle walk off. Unbelievable. <laughs> what a thrill. A double eagle to win the competition for Christopher Myers. Well, that's the way to do it in style right there. Incredible. I have, I, I tell you what, Mickelson couldn't have done it. <laughs> so, Matt, top draw, how did you pull it off? Um, used to play in crazy golf. 
So uh, <laughs> simple as that, really. Uh, not normally a shot on the golf course, but um, yeah, I, I fancied it, so uh, I thought I'd just hit it, and it went well. Uh, after my practice swings, I could feel the ground was pretty hard, so I knew that the ball wasn't going to jump out of there. It was going to fly as true yardage. You've hit them stiff every time. Might as well go ahead and hit it again. 167 yards. This one appears to be online, I think. Oh, you yeah, know, you can't, you can't do that. that. That can't happen. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. How about that? Lights out. I used to sneak out on the golf course to go play in twilight like this. Then I used to have probably two or three holes in pitch black dark. When you have to call the shot, that's the feel, and this is how I.